We're really part of this. History is all about stories. Yeah. I was yeah, I was in I was on that one as well. It's about the people in old photographs and video. So it was most serendipitous when we crossed paths with Mary Lou O'Connor at the Bears on Boards exhibit. Happy to share her story with us. The house we lived in was where they made the first water skis. Where Tom Weinhagen started the company. And I, we ended up buying that house. So that got us into water skis big time. <laughs> the exhibit celebrates 100 years of water skiing and the impact it's had on Wiper Lake. Resident Tom Weinhagen having a great deal of influence on the sport, starting the White Bear Lake Water Ski Company in 1947. We um, made a connection with Dennis Zerwas Jr., who is the grandson of Tom Weinhagen, who founded the White Bear Water Ski Company, and passionate about his grandfather's story and about the company, and has connected in all over the country with people who collect the skis. Executive Director of the Historical Society, Sarah Hansen, says the sport has had a ripple effect revealing the many connections it's helped secure. I mean, we've had dozens of people come in and say, you know, I skied with the club in, the, in 72, or I skied with them in 1985, or whatever. And for something that seems as simple as water skiing does, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a great sport, it's fun, people enjoy it, we obviously have land of 10,000 lakes, we do it. Um, it has some really powerful connections. Bears on Boards, which runs until July 3rd, is extensive, filled with artifacts, interactive displays, and a sculpture of Sasha the Skiing Bear created by artist Kim Ford. She actually comes apart in pieces. Okay. And then can okay. Hansen says planning for the show began last year. It was a perfect topic for us. I mean, it, it just kind of makes sense. And they've had a great turnout, drawing especially large crowds during Market Fest. It's been a project, um, a really fun one, but it has been definitely a project that has kind of consumed our days and nights this spring. Um, it really went into high gear in March or April um, and, and just kind of has not stopped since. Mary Lou and her son Mike came to the exhibit spur of the moment, delighted to come across old video of her younger self on skis. And that looked like it might have been my son, myself, and my husband. Her son still lives in the house they bought from the Weinhagens. It's what started her skiing, eventually becoming one of the premier performers, along with her husband in the Bald Eagle Water Club. I was one of the stronger women. I, you know, I've been at it for many years, and uh, so they put me in the middle of any showing with the women doing a like a parade show with a flag and uh, and then um, it was it just went from there you know it, it, it just got bigger and longer and wider and <laughs> her story giving life to the present by sharing a bit of her past that maybe yes yes that was that was I <laughs> Oh, that was so much fun. That was I.